Hello, welcome back. Today we'll be talking about Ozbit attack. We'll continue on Ozbit attack and we'll talk about dumping Linus ashes. The same way we've talked about Windows, dumping Windows ashes. But this time, this will be Linus focused. And without any further ado, let's dive in. So there's something to know before we do a practical demonstration of how you can dump Linus Ashes. You know, we know that the Linus support multi-users on, on their system. You can have multiple users simultaneously uh, logged in or have access to the base system. And it also has its own advantage and disadvantage in based on the security aspect, really. But what we want to focus on is the dumping of the uh, Linus ashes. So really, there are two places we have the Linus uh, ash. We will not say the Linus ash really, but then there are two places the users um, on the Linus can be stored. So we have the etc password, and we also have the etc shadow file. The etc shadow file is actually where the the Linus um, passwords users have been stored. So when you dump those ashes, you can actually, and it is encrypt, encrypted and you have to decrypt them, maybe like a penetration tester or a, an ethical hacker, you can, maybe you need those informations really bad. You need to probably have to decrypt them in a, in a way. So basically again, you need to know that these uh, ashes can be in different form, can be in MD5, um, MD6, um, sorry, MD5 and SHA1 or SHA256, which will uh, check in, or in this coming video. Though we are not dumping this the ash in this video, but we'll check how we can actually get them on a Linux environment. So without any further ado, let's dive into the practical demonstration of how this is going to happen. So this is the Linux environment I'll be using and we'll log in and so we are logged in and can do am I to know who is so this is me. This is the account I'm logging, I'm logged into. You know, we have various of account, you can have multiple accounts on a Windows environment or on a Linux environment rather. So we can do for cut DC. So really, this is the ETC password part of the Linux environment where users' information has been, have been stored. We have various of information. This is the root account. Or you cannot see the password. The password can be represented with XXS. So we have this is a typical um, information of how you when you dump a TC password um, page. So this is one of my accounts. You can you find out that there is no hash of this particular user? It is represented in X. So this is the one I'm logged in to, and you can see the password part is represented in X. So the ash is now actually stored in the etc dot password. Well, if we cut 
TC slash shadow because I don't have a sudo. Currently, um, currently have access to this particular file if you are a root user. You have a, you, have, you need the root permission to do that. So you can see we have we have all account. But in this case, this is me. This is my account, and this is the hash, which we could not see in the etc password. So you can just copy this. I decide to just copy this and you save it because this is the hash. Copy selection and you can do you can save the save the file or create a notepad, save it, then find a way to decrypt it. In this video, we'll not talk about decryption. Really, we just want to see how Linus password are being at. But in our subsequent video, we'll talk how to make use of these ashes and know what to do with them. So, we have come to the end of our video. I hope you learned something today. See you in our next video. Thank you.